Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Nicole Zick and today we're doing a loose starburst floral. It's a drill using the round brush to create the leaves in the background and it's something that once in a while I like to practice my own skills using different brushes and this was a medium-sized round brush to create these leaves in the background using an aqua color and a blue and it was fun to do and I used a half inch border white tape to make it look nice and framed. You could mail it to somebody or frame it for yourself or as a gift and this is a 5 by 7 card. So we're going to get started and do this today. I'm using my basic watercolor set and the first step for this artwork is to create the flowers in the background. And for that, I'm using a light, pale pink, and you want it medium consistency, semi-transparent, and just do a loose flower, get your paint a little thicker, a loose flower, do three loose flowers that are in the design area, and then we'll branch off and do some half flowers on the borders so you're just doing some loose flowers using the pink pale pink do a loose flower here come and do a half here one on the bottom and just by having these flowers half on the edges it makes the pattern and the artwork look more continuous And while that's getting dry, the light pink, we're going to go into a middle pink. And we're going to do an accent dot in the center and it'll bleed inside the pinks. So we'll do one here. One here. A little shown here. Okay, and we'll let that bleed a little. Next, we'll go into our blue. And we'll start with the smaller brush. I'm using a small round brush. This is a number six, which I guess it looks like a number six, depending on the manufacturer that you're using. But this is the brush that I use to create the smaller flower leaves going around each blossom. So we'll just start here and just do your brush drill and just gracefully add petals or leaves around your flowers, change the diagonal and the, of your brush. Could do some here. We're going to add the two colors, so make sure you don't fill in too much with the dark blue. And try different angles going around your flowers. And it's a fast moving artwork, as you can see. I'm going around the flowers. With the same size stroke. A little more blue. Do some darker blue around this flower. And then we'll add the aqua. Right now we're just con connecting the blues. Now we can do some over here in this corner. And we're just dabbing the brush, the paintbrush down to create the shape that we're looking for. And you want enough paint on your brush so that way it gives a nice mark. Try not to touch your pinks because it'll bleed. Let's see a little more. Do a few more here. And a few on this side.
Okay. Next, we're going to add a darker red into the center of our flowers. A little drop of red. Okay, and let that bleed and then we'll go into our aqua and get it to a nice creamy consistency and that will be the next flowers that we do the leaf petals in the background and just do different angles with your paintbrush filling in the empty spaces around your dark blue leaves and just press the paintbrush down maybe make my paint a little thicker and just go around in a radiating motion around this flower heads and this is a fun project it's not really take that much mind energy to do it's just concentrating on filling your page with the blossoms and that's pretty much it I have to let my tape dry before removing it, but that's the final artwork. Let's see if I lift it up. Here's our final art drill of blossom flowers with leaves in the background. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It'll help me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Bye-bye.